So hey, how you doing? Hey, so we're here to watch the video about WordPress, PG Press. So what is it? It's pretty simple. It's basically a program that PlexGuide automates to mass deploy your programs uh, for WordPress, including backup, storage, and setting things to your top level domain. So some people were like, well, what would I, what I use this for? Well, actually, several people have actually hit me up about it. Um, because uh, basically it's just deploying WordPress containers. It's cheap to, to run this because you may have a, a Hetzner cloud like for three bucks a month and you may deploy a WordPress container to it. And the great thing about this is, is that if you once you run traffic and you get it up and going, which is required, once you get your site up and going, you get an HTTPS certificate. So you don't got to pay for that. You know, it's cheap. It's easy to launch a WordPress site. I know what traffic, I mean, I know what Hetzner you get 20 gigs of space and then if you go to their bigger package which is like four or five euro a month you'll get 40 gigs of space the great thing is you get 20 terabytes of bandwidth with them so uh if there's certain things that you're sharing or doing that bandwidth is probably great for you so long story short you could build a wordpress website one to learn how to build wordpress uh you know because then you can edit it and configure the settings stuff like that wordpress is a great program um and then the second thing is is that um it can act as a, as a front end site for you. So there, there's quite a few uses for it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. So right now I'm on PG 8.2. Um, I believe it was built in 1.5. And so if, if you're on those additions, at least you'll be good to go. So if not, if you're below those, you need to upgrade in order to use it. So we're gonna go ahead and pick five. And trust me, this thing was like hell of code. But the great thing is I really did some extra research in it. But when I started building it, I was gonna build it almost like how I had PG five but not exactly. But in this one, it doesn't, we don't have to worry about publishing ports and all this other stuff. Cause in the last one I had ports publishing and we had to randomize it and then that collided. And then it was a problem for backing up and restoring. I think you get the idea. It's just a nightmare. So now you could deploy all the sites you want. So uh, without having to worry about port usage. Um, so you have the ability to fork it and change the code if you need to, because hey, you may need some customization that's beyond me. So I'm going to go ahead and press one. We're going to go ahead and deploy the official version of it. So quick thing, you want to build the site to work with your front domain, right? See right here, set a top level domain. Just keep in mind that you need to still deploy a site and you still need to deploy a subdomain version. So once you deploy the subdomain, it will change here. The great thing about PG Press is that I have all the containers exempt from the regular containers and vice versa. So they do not conflict with each other. They don't restart each other and they don't even show up. And, and PG Vault, um, the backup and restore here is not uh, the same for the regular container. So it's built specifically for WordPress. So that's that's good for you, right? So <laughs> good for you, more headaches for me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and deploy a site and we're gonna go ahead and call this Mario Kart because you know, you just love Mario Kart. So it's basically deploying a database and then it's going to deploy the container and to you this may just see like oh look how fast it's deployed all right we're going to go ahead and deploy a mario kart.ffplex.com so this should be fairly quick and look at that bam look at that we're into wordpress huh you can make your own instances and you're good to go so just type in your title and everything else and you can call it a day one second we'll go ahead and pause this video Okay, I went ahead and filled this in, just save a little bit of time. And then we just hit install and we're good to go. Log in. And I don't need a, well, let's see. I don't need to log into it, but might as well, right? So you can do all your customization and everything, like how you just do WordPress in general. Pretty cool, huh? You can do all your plugins and, and you're pretty much set. So right now we're on version 503. In the future, I may offer an option so you can deploy a specific version of WordPress. Um, so, because some of you might like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead to the front site. So we're gonna go ahead, actually that's not gonna work yet. Because if we go there, we're gonna get Portainer. So what happens is we need to set the top level domain. So we're gonna go ahead and set the top level domain. And you see, bam, there's two sites, Mario Kart and Cookies. So you notice that there, all these other containers are not showing up and, and trust me, it was, it was hell trying to segregate the two because the thing is you got to remember it's one list. So it's basically like in that one click, there was a whole bunch of segregation that went on, generated some other lists and other lists and, and some cuts and poof, here you go. Right. Good for you. So we're going to go ahead and type um, Mario Kart. And what it'll do is 
it, when it rebuilds, it's going to rebuild the last container in a, in a new container. So last container was portainer. So pretty simple to rebuild. And the reason it has to rebuild is because if it doesn't, and there's two sites with HT, like it being kind of like the front end, they'll conflict with each other. So only one will usually win. So this is all set up where you're good to go. So it should be rebuilt portainer first. And what it's going to do is it's going to strip the uh, top level domain from it. See, top level domain does not apply. See that right there? So that's how it knows how to strip it. And now WordPress is kicking in. So it's really deploying it over again for you. Come on. But it does not rebuild the database, right? Because you don't want to rebuild the database. If you do, you lose all your data. So again, more, more fun with all this process. Okay, so it says top level domain built and good to go. So one second. Okay, wish me luck. Hopefully this deploys right. You know how when you show things in a demo, it never works. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. We're good. We are we we are in the money, right? So and, and, and trust me, WordPress works. This is like their generic theme. Like you need to go into the, the the actual settings and change it. And once you do that, you're good to go. So, but you can see that it works. Okay, so what's some other things that we have? Well, I have simply have a what websites you have deployed look. See? Because sometimes you might, I don't know, you might be building like 50 sites and 50 subdomains uh, and, you, and you may get lost. So simple view of what you have running. So you can back up and restore. But keep in mind, you see how this doesn't work right now? So what happens is you need to set up, actually I need to put a block on that. So what you need to do is you need to set up um, PG clone, like it said. So once you got PG clone set up, it will do a proper backup and it'll do a proper restore. So I just need to put a block on that so it doesn't, um, you know, you kind of know that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So um, let's see, destroy a site. So if you want to do that, it's really easy to do. So let's deploy destroy cookies. And that's it. And if I go to view deploy sites, you'll notice that Mario Kart just pops up. And let's go ahead and destroy Mario Kart and see what happens. So it's destroying it. Okay, one second. And there you go. You notice the site not working, right? Because it's gone. So you need to set another top level domain, you know. But other than that, that's pretty much it. WordPress, PG Press is pretty great at mass deployment. It saves you money, time, and effort. Um, it was something that, like I said, I built in the Plex Guy 5. I just, it just kind of overwhelmed me. I, I was surprised to even get it working originally then, but now it works great. So backups, deploy, top level domain, not conflicting with your other containers, you're good to go. But if other than that, if you have any other questions, just please hit us up on the forums, Discord, whatever. Please feel free to donate. Please feel free to help other members. Again, it's a community site. Like I said, not one person knows everything and everything that you're doing for us helps. Please like the video if you can and subscribe. And I say that dearly because it really does help. So other than that, you have an outstanding day.